Got a 1920. Popped it up. Check that out. That is going to be a very old ring. First coin of the day. Just popped up. It's about uh, eight inches deep. It's gonna be a modern one. It's gonna be a King. King George the Sixth. Not what I'm looking for. Get out of that wind. But hey, it's something. Let's keep rolling. Still working this double field. All the other guys are back over there in the big field. Uh, I just always choose to go where no one else really is. I got a 19 to a 20. I'm digging all signals, but this is the first I found of this. This is a King George. I think it's a farthing. Yeah, so that's going to be late 1700s, early 1800s. I might get a date off of it later on, but it's bigger than a nickel, but smaller than a quarter. It's not a half penny. You can look and see uh, see if I can make her out here. Britannia. She's sitting up right there. So, I believe I see three. I'm not sure. George, yeah, we'll see right there. One, two, three. George the third. Or is it right there? One, two, three. Right there. One, two, three. George the third. Late 1700s, early 1800s. It's about 1820s, somewhere around there. I'm not sure. I have to look it up. Still working the stubble field. Everybody else is back over my left shoulder. And I got a uh, 12, 14 jumping around. Usually it's a button. And it is a button, but I see something on it. It's gold. And it's got a star on it. Check that out. Looks like it's got a star within the star. I don't want to rub it too much and rub that gold off of it. Now that's a cool looking button, isn't it? Still got the shank on it. All right, I'll show you guys these type of finds. I dig a lot of buttons. I've already dug probably 10 buttons, but I'm not showing all of it. Cause it's just flat, regular flat buttons. All right, that's a good find. Let's keep going for that elusive silver. Just got a 1920, just put, flipped it over. It looks like it's gonna be a gold gilted button, flat button, a big one. Yep. Get in the sun. That's nice, no shake. All right. Yeah. This patch is definitely producing the coppers and the buttons, but that's all, no silver. I was getting a 15, popped it out and cleaned it off. Nice time back button. It's a big one. Size of those big dandies. Still working the old stubble field. I'm gonna hit this other side next. Got a 1920, and popped it up. Check that out. That is gonna be a very old ring. Wow, let me get it in the sun. A very old ring. Check that out. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. There we go. May have something on it right there. It does. Let me clean this up and we'll come back to it. Check that out. It's a big ring too. It'll fit my finger. I wear a 12. This is probably size 11. It's got two like uh, stalks on each side and two little dots on top. I don't know what this is. It looks old. I'm hoping it's Roman or, or Celtic being bronze like that. Um, chances are it's going to be very old. Can't wait to get this identified. All right, that is a great relic. I'm glad I stayed in this onion field. This is a stubble field. It's ringing up real choppy. It was about uh, six inches deep. 
That's amazing. This is stuff I love to find right here. It says made in China right there. No. It's got to be some type of a signet ring, you know, because you see how it's raised and around it's got the circle. So top probably stick that in wax and that's his symbol. Well, I got silver, but it's not uh, hammered silver. It's a milled silver. It looks like it's a King George V, so somewhere around 1900. But hey, I'll take silver. It's in good shape too. He is, or there he is. I think it's a King George V. It's ringing up a 29 to a 30. Yeah. I don't know what this is going to be. Let me clean it up and get back with you. I only got one hand here. I don't have my tripod with me today. All right, let me clean it up and get back to you. Well, there he is. 1927, King George V. It's going to be a one shilling. One shilling. Milled silver. It's uh, about the size of a quarter. Maybe just a little bit bigger. But I'll take any type of silver, but I'm looking for that hammered. So maybe I'm getting to a hot spot. Let's keep on going. I'm just getting a, another 25, 28 signal. Popped it up. Tell you what, I'd rather dig these than dig nothing. Um, there's still coins that I, you don't dig in the States. They're still old. Let's see how this one's kind of thin. Let's see what that's going to be. When they're white like that, they're going to be late 1700s, early 1800s. I don't see anything coming out on that side. I may have to let this one dry out just a little bit. I don't think I'm going to get anything off of this one. This may be a KG2. Oh, well, another copper, number six or seven. It's getting a good 23, 24. That's a big one here. I'll take them all day long. <laughs> Boy, you'll dig them all day long. I don't know what that one's going to be. One of our team members just got a hammered, and that's good. Second one today out here. I just haven't got mine yet. Another one of our team members just got a Commonwealth silver hammered. So that's three out of seven of us that's got one. I don't have one yet. I'm still looking for it. I'm still in this old uh, stubble field. Still popping up a lot of stuff. And popped up another copper here that's a new one. I haven't seen this one before. Check this out. It's got some fancy design on this side of it. And I don't know. Let me do some cleaning on it and I'll come back to you. I don't recognize this one. It's got uh, a shield or, or a square, two on top, two down the bottom, and something inside that one on the left. I don't know if it goes that way or if it goes that way. Really get anything off the here. I see some little stuff on the edge, but I'm not sure. I'll have to get this one identified. If you know what that is, let me know. Hopefully, I've already identified it by the time this goes to video. All right, let's get some pictures. Well, I don't have my silver yet, but uh, I got something very good though. It's a Roman coin. Check that out. It was ringing up like a jumpy 29 to a 30, jumping around. These are very crude co coins, but you can see the portrait there looking to the left. And uh, you can see how thick they are. They're bronze. Roman bronze coins. And I took my brush out before I turned the camera on. And you can kind of see some detail. There it is right there. It's like uh, somebody standing up or something. Flip it over. 
I'm excited about that. That's going to be probably around 300 AD is what this is going to be. Depends on if it can get identified or not, but most of them are going to be 300 AD because Rome was in existence by, you know, early 400s. And so this is going to be a good coin. I'll take that. Big old thick bronze coin. A circa somewhere around 300 AD. Awesome, awesome. Now I just need, having a really good day, I just need a, a hammered nail. So that's what we're going for. Well, I got a bucket list for me. I haven't gotten one of these out of my three trips to England or two previous trips in this this trip. Uh, it is called a cartwheel penny. I haven't got one of those yet, but I just got one. It's ringing up like a 33. I thought it was going to be a big silver, milled silver. But uh, let me show it to you. Yeah, look at that. And we know it's a cartwheel penny. Look how thick that is. But also you can see on the edge on it. Let me clean it up. Yeah, see the edge right there? It's got a big edge on it. Let me clean it up and we'll get a better pick. Yeah, it's going to be probably a 1797 King George III. Let me see if I can get out of the wind a little bit. That's King George III looking to the right. And then there's his name and stuff on top of the edge. You can always tell these things got that, that fat edge onto it. Look how thick they are. Rings up a 33 like a silver dollar. All right, I'm happy. That's a bucket list for me. All right, let's get a picture. Let's see what else is out here. Still haven't got a hammered yet. I'll tell you what, when you come to England, this is, I think, day five that we've been hunting. I think we came, we hunted half a day on Friday, all day on Saturday, all day on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So this is uh, our fourth, four and a half days. And we still got uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and half a day on Friday. You really got to pace yourself because you'll walk out here at least three, four miles. You're up and down at least three or four hundred times a day. And you just get so sore because you're carrying your backpack with your water, all the gear. Because if you break something, you got to go back to the van. It's at least a half a mile, if not further, walk. So you got to pack everything with you and your lunch and all that kind of stuff. That way you stay out in the field. But uh, I'm still back down here in that stubble field, kind of near that. And I just found that cartwheel penny and uh, found something else that's really neat. I just want to show it to you. Check that out. That is an old lock key cover or goes off a chest or something but I just thought that was cool I've had a good day I just haven't had a hammered yet there's my good finds a cartwheel penny then my Roman and then some other um, I don't know some other thing uh, other type of uh, copper I don't know what it is and then I think the find of the day so far is this cool looking i think it's gonna be like a, a wax signet ring anyway i found a silver button a silver wash button just found it just a second ago tons of buttons this is what you'll find most of buttons found that silver that i'm not, that's not really a ring found some type of ball and a bunch of more coppers you'll find tons and tons of buttons all types of them so the only thing I'm missing is a hammered silver. So let's stay at it. Just found me a lighter. Didn't expect to find one of these. A Ronson trademark whirlwind made in England. Wonder how old that is. 70s maybe? Ah oh well, let's keep on going. Just found me a buckle. Still has a little bit of the, the gold on it. It was all gold plated at one time. Alright, I like buckles. Let's keep on going. Well, it has been a while since I've dug anything since lunch. Uh, since that lighter, I guess, was the last thing I really dug. But I just got a 2021 and popped it up. And it's going to be a King George the Third. Um farthing is what it's going to be you, you can see him kind of looking to the right with the wreath on his head that's old king george the third and you flip it over here's britannica and i think it's 18 i can't make it out so, something four so probably 1804 um early 1800s yeah i like it 
All right, let's keep on going for that silver. Still out in this big old field. We're gonna stay here the rest of the day. We're finding a lot of stuff. Another member just found our sixth hammered. There's only, no, fifth hammered. Only two of us haven't found one. Anyway, I did find this though. I wanted to show you. It's a huge crotobell. It's not a whole crotobell. But I'll take that. That's going to be old. It'll be very old. All right, let's keep going. Let's get a 2021, and I think I found the other half of my crotobell. There's one piece, and there's the other piece. There's still a little piece in the middle missing, I think. Or it could be two separate cotabels. I dug the other one just right over there, and I've been kind of working around trying to find it. So, all right, let's keep going. I dug me a KG2. I cleaned it up already. So windy, I'm trying to keep it out of the wind. You can see him looking to the left there. And flip it over. There's Britannia. I don't know if you can see it. I think it's 17. I had to put a little water on. 1734, something like that. I'll take them. I haven't got my silver, but I'm getting some old coppers. Big English oaks. That's probably seven foot across. Well, there she is. It's going to be a half penny. I'm not sure who it might be. It's pretty wet soil. Let's see. It feels like an old one. I don't know. I may have to let it dry just a little bit to see who this is going to be. Feels like a KG2. You can just you you dig up so many of these, you kind of get a feel for them. KG3s are usually thicker, KG2s are thinner. I can't make it out. Now this may be something different altogether. Let me do some cleaning up on it. Let me come back to you. Not certain on him. I definitely see a bust on it looking to the right. You flip it over. And uh, there's some stuff on the bottom. You can't see it on camera very good. There we go, like that. I'll try to look this up and see what it is. That's the first find of the day. Alright, let's keep rolling. Alright, just pop my second greenie out. Not going to be a greenie, it's going to be a button. It'll be a large button. Oh, it's going to have some stuff on it. Yes, let's clean this up. See what it's going to look like. Check this out. It's going to be some type of man with armor with a sword out to his side or something. And that's pretty nice. Shank is broken on it. But it's a concave button. But we have to look that up and see what that is. It looks like a knight. That could be a very in, in, interesting button. Well, we didn't find a whole lot in this field, but I found one thing I didn't turn the camera on to show you because I just thought it was a piece of junk. And uh, But I talked to one of the guys on our, our trip, and he said that it was a, uh, a Royal Army Regiment hat pin. Well, check that out. I thought it was just a piece of a cannon, but it's actually a hat pin. Royal Army hat pin, probably uh, early 1800s. I'm gonna look this up, see if I can find it online too, but I like that. Still looking for that elusive silver. We decided to come back out to this field that we found all that stuff yesterday. I decided to come back into the stubble field. I've got a new permission up there by that house. Me and another guy's gonna hit later on. But I got a, a screaming high tone like a silver, but it's gonna be a small copper. And I think this is gonna be Queen Anne. If, that, if that's right, 
looks like a queen and coin. And uh, so I don't have one of those. So that's a good find. Let's keep going. I just dug this, bringing up an 1819. I don't know if it's a, maybe it's a button. It's real thick and heavy to be a button. I've never seen such a thing. It's got to be a button. All right, let's keep going. All right, maybe you can hear me over the wind. We're making our way over to this yard, and I just got hammered. Check this out. Yep, there it is, right there. I just cleaned it off a little bit. It's thin silver. It's pretty wiped. Let me get some water on it, and I'll clean it up. See if we can see what it is. Not going to be able to get any detail off of it. But it's definitely hammered silver, ring up in 19, which is small hammered to go about 14, and these bigger ones to go about 16, 18, 19. All right, I'm awful. I'm on the board. All right. What do you say, buddy? <clears throat> you a big old horse. Well, we got, came up here to this horse pen. And yesterday, our tour guide, Jimbo, he got uh, permission. It's right beside a house. And he did these other horse pins back here and found a bunch of silvers. No hammers, but milled silver. But uh, we're fixing to get in here. They said that one him and one other person, and so we drew numbers this morning, one through six, and I end up getting six. So it must be the Lord's way of telling me it's my time to be out here. So hopefully I'll find something good. Let's go see. Still out in the horse pen. I left the first one I was in. There was a second one I skipped and came back over here where some silvers had been found. I just popped this up. And uh, I'm not sure. Maybe a, maybe a KG3? Maybe a KG3. Anyway, it's not very good details on this one. Let's keep looking for the silver. Oh, I'm just looking at myself in the camera and I'm so sunburned and wind burned out here. The wind in England at this side of the island, we're over here near Club Colchester, it just never stops blowing like 20 miles an hour. And you just get so wind burned more than sunburn. But I uh, came over here and started working this other side of the, the uh, stubble field and staying out of the main field and got a real iffy signal. And it sounded like a, like a, a hammered, like an 1819. But I dug into the sidewall and it popped out and I can see some definition on it and it's a big copper. So check this out. Yeah, I dug it out of the sidewall right there and it fell over and it's one that I haven't dug before. Yeah, this is going to have some neat stuff on it. Wow, it's got a cross and a shield. This one's going to be cool. I have not dug this one. Oh, it's got a cross. Oh, yeah, this is old. This is going to be old. I don't want to rub it too much. Let me do some cleaning up on it with my brush, and I'll get back with you. Check this copper out. If I can turn it just right... There's a shield, and inside the shield is three crosses. This is old. This is older than the hoppers we're digging. This is definitely, this is probably 15, 1600s here. This is definitely an older copper. You flip it over, check this out. One big cross. A cross within a cross. Still got definition on it. I have no clue what this is. Come on, phone. I was trying to see if they could possibly get a date on here. Sometimes, there you might can see the, there's one cross on the bottom of the shield and two at the top. Sometimes there's a, a, a date at the top. Man, let's get in the sun, see if that'll help you out, out any. Now that is a find. I like these old coins. I gotta ask my host here in England and 
see what he thinks this is man this is cool let's get some pictures and keep going it's paying off to come out here no, nobody in the two groups that are out here there's about 16 of us 14 of us no one's hunting this the stubble i'm the only one so maybe i can find me a hammered in here too we moved on from that other field we found a few things um and we came back over here to a field where we, I found my first hammered. And uh, I found, I think, a King George copper. And then I'm down here where I found that Roman coin. And uh, I think I got a piece of cut silver. Check this out. It's ringing up like a 2021. 20, and you can tell it's round like a coin. It's got some fancy on it. But, uh, yeah, it's a piece of cut silver. I don't know if it was cut intentionally or did the plow get it. But, uh, hey, I'll take silver any day. Mm -hmm.